Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wolfstalker25, and today I got a new action figure review for you guys on the Jazzwares World of Halo. I believe this is a GameStop exclusive, uh, Warthog, and Arb Warthog with Arbiter and Master Chief. This is the part of like the 20 year anniversary of Halo um, set of things that they're doing. This is based on Halo 3 as well so you get a halo 3 style warthog um a halo 3 style chief and a halo 3 style arbiter so this is a pretty cool set i believe it is 40 dollars maybe but that's not bad when you think about it. it's like when you think about it price wise out 20 dollars for the vehicle 10 dollars for chief 10 dollars for arbiter it, it works it's not you know it's not a bad deal in my opinion um so i did pick one of these up i do really like it i like the hog a lot uh we will do a comparison with the infinite style hog a little bit later in the video but uh really quickly let's take a look at what we get with this fully so accessory wise you get a weapon for both chief and arbiter i have both of those here you get a halo 3 halo 1 style assault rifle that you get right there um so you do get this very nice i do like the paint on it i like the sculpt of it a ton it's very flimsy though and then this is a little bit thicker but still flimsy you do get the covenant carbine as well i love the sculpt work and detail on this weapon this thing is so cool looking i really dig it i love all the extra little like holes and detail that you got going down the barrel there on the side it's really cool looking um so there you go there's that first up let's take a look at arbiter since arbiter is way more probably desirable in the set than the chief because everyone loves arbiter oh also you do get these two little bases as well i will be using these you get one of each you get this little grass one this little stone one here you do get both of those as well so very nice um now, one thing that does kind of upset me about Arbiter is there's no weapon storage, and you didn't get an energy sword with this character. From what I can tell, there was no energy sword in the box, um, but uh, it's kind of a shame that they didn't give you that, um, but oh well, whatever. Not a big deal. There's a couple extra energy swords that I got from some other elites anyways. Um, now, the Arbiter sculpt work is very nice. I, I really like it. Um, it's, there's so much detail in the gold bronzy color that you got there. All the sculpt work on the armor is just insane. You got the extra detail on like the, the back of them for the actual skin where it looks like, I don't know if it's a, if that's his actual skin or if that's a jumpsuit, I can't remember, but you got all the detail there. Arbiter has so much detail in him here. The only thing that I have a complaint about is the... The face, as you can see, um, the eyes are just yellow or like an orangey color. Uh, and then there's like a brown ish for like the skin tone. Um, and then just a very basic like mouth that doesn't even have like detail up in the top, really. It's got like kind of detail up there, but like you can't, you can't see like it. There's, there's not much up there. Um, so it's kind of a shame that the face doesn't have a little bit more detail. The armor is phenomenal, though. And then, as you can see, I've got this, like, brown mark that goes across the like the front of the nose there. Like, the paint just comes off. So it's like, that that's kind of a bummer. That I don't even have, like, a clean paint, and I can't even, like, chip that off. And this gold is so unique that it's going to be hard to try and replicate that, even if I wanted to fix it. So th that's, that's definitely a bummer there. Um, but the, the sculpt work on the figure is phenomenal. Um, we'll do a quick like look at Arbiter's articulation really fast. So for the arms, they could go up that much. You could do a full 360 with them. Granted, it's a little bit harder on this side because of the big shoulder pad coming off here. Uh, there's no bicep cut or anything like that. Um, single jointed elbow gets up that far. And then the wrists do swivel. Um, they swivel a little bit and they do hinge as well so they do have the horizontal hidden shear um, you do get a nice like ab like thing articulation here uh, ball joint which is pretty nice um, gives you a little bit of space up there 
Uh, so you could go forward back and then you need to get a weird like cut here So it's like you get a you get like a waist cut But it doesn't really give you that much room. It's like just a tiny bit you get way more movement on the ball joint than you do the waist cut um, the head has really realistically no movement uh, No tilt no nothing really there um, Kind of a bummer. There is a Let's see. Let's see there There is like a you know a dumbbell joint in there but you don't get the up down really um, like you kind of get it but not much because of how the the head is shaped and the armor is but oh well that's fine uh, legs do not have a upper thigh cut but they do go back that far forward that much um, you do get the double like joint here so you could do a lot of forward that much back that much back that much forward that much um, and then you do have the ankles that do not really pivot they just kind of swivel and then they go back that far and then forward that much as well so there you go there's your look at arbiter i do have a lot of really weak joints like my my waist cut here is really weak this is super like flimsy and wobbly the legs are definitely weak right here in these lower joints um, so it is kind of a little bit of a bummer how weak all my joints on Arbiter are, uh, but oh well. Hopefully, hopefully your guys' if you do get this set aren't that flimsy. Um, I do highly recommend this set though because of just the Arbiter alone. Um, getting him in the World of Halo uh, collection, the three and three quarter inch stuff is awesome. Um, I do wish this was painted right here, though, the little light on the shoulder. Uh, I wish that had a, like, a little bit of a paint on it. A little bit of a quick afterthought thing that I just thought about here. Um, I'm going to check this somewhere in the video. Uh, I do want to say, as good as this Arbiter is, um, it is a little bit of a shame that, unfortunately, with Arbiter, you can't put him in the Warthog because he's too big uh, with his legs. Um, if you do want to get Arbiter in the hog looking like he's driving at all, you do got to, in my opinion, uh, what you got to do basically is remove the legs, and then from a side angle, uh, there you go, he looks like he's driving. So, unfortunately, you got a legless Arbiter in the hog, um, but it, it works, it does the job for it. So, this was an afterthought after I finished the video, so I'm just going to chuck it in here. So, hopefully you guys... Uh, find that helpful as a little quick thing that you could do with RB and we'll pull the chief out of here now chief is hard to get into the seat there um, we'll look at the hog last uh, but this master chief is awesome he's I, I love this halo 3 style armor for the Mjolnir armor um, but sculpt wise he's really good you get the battle damage here he could have used a little more weathering or something like that but maybe some extra dry brushing, something. But I really like the look of them. I really hope they sell this character separately um, from the hog at some point. I would love if they do cheat or Arbiter separately too. But very nice sculpt. A lot of nice detail on him. Uh, articulation wise, arms go out that far. No upper bicep cut. Um, single jointed elbows get you that much. I wish it was a little bit more. Wrist do swivel and hinge horizontally as well. Head could look up that far, go down that much, no pivot. Uh, you do get the like waist cut kind of, which gets you that much. And then the upper torso, not really much either there, unfortunately. Legs go forward that much, back that far, can go out that much for the splits. Double joint of knees gets you up that much. Very nice. These knees are pretty good, too. I wish these Spartan Collection knees were as good as these knees here. Um, especially on the Halo 2, 3 era, Chief. Uh, ankles go forward that far, back that much. So, very nice. Um, I really do like this Chief. And then we'll put him on the other base here. And we'll do a quick size check on them. And we'll take a look at the hog, and then we will be comparing the hog to the infinite hog, like I said. Um, we're already pretty deep into the video, though, but there's your size comparison with Chief and Arbiter. So, very nice. Um, Chief does stand just about a little over four and a half inches tall. Arbiter at this height is just about 
almost five inches probably to the back of the neck. Um, obviously, Arbiter could extend even further. Chief really can't get up much bigger. Um, so really quick, here's a size comparison though. With Arbiter and Chief, here's a look at them next to a Infinite Brute Chieftain. Um, and then another Elite. I can't remember if this is from that like Walmart uh, like Arsenal pack. And then here's a really quick look. I'll pull out the Infinite Chief that I got off to the side and the other Warthog. Um, here's a quick look at Infinite Chief next to your Halo 3 Chief. I think the Halo 3 Chief... No, they're the same height. Looks like almost the same upper torso too, but like they shaved off this part. Looks very similar. No, it's different. It's in their sculpt. Arms are different too. Forearms are different. And actually everything might be different, but maybe the hands. Um, yeah, that's all new. That's all different. So, there you go. That Halo 3 Chief is very nice. Like I said, I hope they sell that separately. I would I would buy so many of that if they sold it separately. If I could ever get around to learning how to paint stuff, um, I would I would totally get into that. Uh, but there you go. I'm going to move Chief and Arby out of the way. Or Arby and Chief out of the way. And then we're going to take a closer look at the hog. Um, let me bring the camera up a little bit. And we'll turn it down. So, there you go. There's your hog look right here. Do a quick 360 of it. I really like the front detail of the grill and, like, the cable here. It was kind of, it'd be kind of cool if the cable was, like, its own thing, but I'm also fine with that because then that gets in the way. It's a hassle. There's a look inside the hog. Very nice. All the extra detail. Kind of wish all that was painted in there, though. A um, little bit of a bummer, but oh well. Uh, the steering wheel can't move. It also is very flimsy as well, so just a warning so you don't break that. Seats are very nice, though. Um, you do get a new chain gun, though, since this is different from the other one. It does snap on up here at the... Uh, I think it snaps... No, it snaps on right here. So this whole bit right here is new. It snaps on on the ball peg here. Very hard to do. I had to heat this up. This is part of the chain gun here, so it does come and get in the way a little bit. But you get a nice move. I did heat this up too here and brought it more forward because as you can see it's like lean back a lot. I feel like it should be here, but I, I don't know. It, it just keeps warping back to that same height, uh, that same spot. Um, and then you do get the little antenna that does peg in there as well. But this is, this Warthog is a very nice sculpt. I really like it. There's no, the wheels are new as well. These are new wheels for this hog. So I think the whole hog is new. Overall, I really love the Halo 3 Warthog design though. This is a phenomenal design. I, I absolutely love it. So we'll set it right here and then we'll get out the Halo Infinite one. As you can see with them next to each other. They sit at the same size, height, everything like that. Um, but the Infinite Tog is just slightly different. Uh, there we go. Let me change the camera angle for you guys again. Um, a little bit of a forward on look at it so the infinite hog as you can see the whole hood is entirely different i mean the the fronts are different the even the suspension is different the wheels are different there's everything's different about these these are two entirely different warthogs and like i i really love both looks i i love the i love the difference in the era of hogs that they've done um as you can see with these two like they just, they both look so good, and I really love them both. Um, it's hard to say which one I like more, because I've spent so much more time with the Halo 3 design than the Infinite design, but I love the green on this one. The green and the, like, the gunmetal um, gray is just so much better than this, like, sandy brown color. So, overall, though, for $40, would I recommend this set? Yeah, 100%. Um, if you're a fan of Halo, if you're a fan of the World of Halo line, even the Spartan Collection, any of it, uh, I highly recommend it. This set is phenomenal. The only gripe I have with Arbiter is the paint on the front, how mine's messed up. Hopefully I could get another Arbiter at some point to get that better. Um, but And the fact that there's no peg hole in the back, so you can't store your carbine. 
on him at all. So you can't do any back design. I wish they would have done one little peg hole in the back of the Arbiter. Um, so that is a little bit of a bummer. But the Hog is phenomenal. Um, I hope we see more Warrant Hogs from them. I would love to see like a maybe a Sergeant Johnson or some Halo 3 Marines with a Halo 3 Hog so they could like reuse it and get it out there again. Um, but And then I would love to see Master Chief separately in some other set as well because I really like him. Uh, but hopefully they make these two in the Spartan collection because we need more than just Spartans in the collection. So I'd love an Arbiter at 6 inch scale and I would love the Halo 3 Master Chief done in the 6 inch scale as well because it also is one of my favorite looks for Master Chief, obviously. Uh, but Hopefully you did enjoy, hopefully you found this review helpful. As always, if you haven't done so already, I would always appreciate a like, as well as a subscribe if you are new and haven't done so. It does help me out a lot, I do greatly appreciate it, and I'm trying to get back and doing more reviews for you guys. Um, I do have these new Halo things here. Uh, I got a whole bunch more World of Halo stuff, like I got the the Gun Goose, or I think it's the normal Master Ch or the normal mongoose with master chief um i've got several of the three packs that i could review i have the shade turret with the grunt so all those things i can do review on reviews on if you are interested in any of them I have a lot of i have a couple series three maybe series four i can't remember what figures they were from and some series two that i still need to review so if you want to see any of those let me know in the comments below i will try to get to all those um i have some six inch stuff that i still need to do uh but i'm trying not to neglect all that oh also forgot, here's a Jackal uh, with these guys as a size comparison. Um, I completely forgot to throw that in there, so there you go. There's a look at that. Jackals are kind of big. Um, but, yeah, if you're a fan of the Halo, if you're a fan of Halo or World of Halo at all, highly recommend this set. $40 is great. I don't know if GameStop will clearance it at all. Um, and it is brand new, and I think it might still be available online right now. So, if you're interested, I say grab it if you got the funds to do so. Um, so great set and uh jazzware has been killing it with these world of halo guys and the spartan collection too spartan collections knees are a little bad though but um my biggest gripe with the with the jazzware halo stuff right now is just the availability um i'm sure all you guys know out there it is so hard to get this stuff i still haven't found two of the spartan collection figures either from wave four so hopefully i can get my hands on those at some point but uh, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. I don't know when this is coming up. This might be coming out before or after the GameStop um, Spartan Collection video for the Halo 1 and Infinite Chief. Or this might be coming out after. If it's after, then hopefully you guys did enjoy that video. And uh, I will see you guys all in the next one. I don't know what the video will be next after this will be, though. But thank you so much for watching.